Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing a video on Simplex True Alerts. Let's get So a lot of you uh, like True Alerts out there. Some people hate them. I personally don't have a preference, preference on them. They're cool. Um, so... Let's get started. So basically on the true alerts, there are five main types. You have sync strobe, which means that the strobe will um, do nothing when it's powered. And then the second you cut power, it's going to flash once. You have selectable, which actually these are selectable. So selectable means that they have a little switch on them. As you can see, that's the little switch right there, right there right there so basically when you flip the switch it turns it to a sync strobe but when you uh keep it in the normal position it be, it's a free run device free run means that when you apply 24 volts dc it will flash one it will flash like a regular device until you disconnect power and then uh you have addressable which means it will not do anything until it receives like a coded signal from the panel so Let's uh, power these alarms on free run mode. So as you can see, we have the strobes powered up to 24 volts DC on free run mode, and they are not synchronizing at all. So um, this is because they have no coded sync signal. But now let's set it to sync and see if that will make it synchronize. Okay, now we have it set to sync strobe. So I'm going to plug it in right now, and as you can see, Nothing is happening because the capacitors are charging up inside the device. I'm going to unplug it right now, and as you can see, they flash once in sync. So when you disconnect power, it flashes once. This is actually kind of clever because all of the strobes inside of the building will flash at once, which means they'll be in sync. So I was thinking, what could I use that provides coded current, which is like when it pulses? This is the system sensor MDL. You can actually you can either have it sync system sensor devices or you can have it code um devices to code 3. Now I think if if I could code these strobes on smart sync to code 3, I could get them to sync, right? Let's try that. Okay, so I just hooked up one true alert on Smart Sync to the um, MDL, and let's see uh, how it works. The strobe should flash in a Code 3 pattern. As you can see, it's flashing in a Code 3 pattern. Now, this is how Smart Sync would work. Let's wire up a second true alert and see if they'll sync. Okay, now that the second true alert is wired up, let's plug it in and see if they sync. They probably will. Yep, as you can see, they are synchronizing in its perfect sync. Now, this is because the module is providing coded current, but still, this is kind of cool. So, if you have a sync device and you want to power it, but you don't want to buy, like, a $100 module, um, you can just buy the System Sensor MDL. Those are pretty cheap online. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!